Hello everyone, my name is Ankit and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit your drone footage. So recently I posted this video on YouTube and a lot of people asked me how did you edit this video. So this video is all about editing the drone footage. Now I'm going to show you the little preview of the video for 25 seconds and then I'm going to start the actual editing. So watch this for now. So I hope you like this video and I'm going to show you the step by step process of how I edited this video. Okay, so the first step I do is I always choose the music. So this is the music that I've already chosen. So I'm just going to copy paste this music. I'm just going to recreate this whole scenarios for you. So this is the this is the music and now I'm going to select the video. So this is the raw video that I used see i'm selecting the in point and the out point so this is my in point and this is my out point you can just select this using this mark in and mark out so now i'm going to select the video just drag this video onto the, this layer it's and see that's very slow so, so for the time being i'm going to disable the audio so now you see that it's very slow so now i'm going to uh, speed up this video up to let's say 800 percent so now you see that it's very fast like i showed you so the next step i'll do is I'll, I'll just color grade this video i'm going to search here for the lumetri panel i always use lumetri to color grade my all the videos so just drag this lumetri onto this panel and go to the effects panel and just start with the basic correction so I'll just increase the temperature to about 12 and just make it a tint of negative, negative, let's say 5 or 4. Yeah. And then, uh, and then increase the contrast a bit and decrease the blacks and increase the shadows decrease the highlights that's that's the basic thing that i do always and now go to the creative tab here increase the faded film to about 15 yeah and go to the curves here just select the shadows midpoints and highlights increase little highlights decrease the shadows just make it a little s curve just make it a s curve yeah that's that's look good okay and now i'm going to create an adjustment layer so create a new adjustment layer and just drag this adjustment layer onto this and just do this and search and now go to the effects panel search a crop and apply the crop on the adjustment layer here select the top is 12 and bottom is 12 now you can position this also so i'm just going to a little bit change the position yeah that 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 looks fine so now it's looking good similarly i'm going to edit the second video so I'm going to select the second video here and just drag this video and see which part you like to edit. So I'm just selecting which part to edit. Okay, so let's let's select this video from here and you will see that it's very slow right now. So I'm going to speed it up again. So let's just select the in and out point and I'm going to speed up this video let's say 1000 yeah that's what I like it now we can see this video is in motion so let's go here and see that 
and copy this symmetry effect that we created in the first one to the second one so that we get the same effect now both these videos looking same similarly you can do for all the videos that I show you right here for example this one right here so similarly you can edit all the videos you want now see this and now same way I'm going to speed up this process right click and speed up and say let's say 500 so just drag this video here again and copy paste the lumetri if lumetri panel again same here same way okay you have got it and you can make a little more changes in this one just decrease the blacks a little more now you're seeing this this is looking good and increase the whites not much just a little and increase the contrast decrease the exposure not much yeah by point two that looks fine increase the shadows and it's looking good now okay but now it's looking more of yellow so i'm going to change it to negative temperature so you can make so you can make all the adjustment you want to look similar so that's that's how you can create it and now i'm going to enable the audio so you can listen to the video that i just created okay let me just render this to show you okay so now this is rendered so now see this video so i hope this tutorial helped you so if it helped you please subscribe to this channel that will allow me to create more videos like this and stay connected bye bye take care